let's so we're back in video scribe let's go up to add an image i will go down to the folder here i will click on the quarter clock png push open and click the check mark here so there that is now I'm not completely happy with the layout of all of these elements on the canvas right now within the scene. So I'm going to move some stuff around. I'm happy with that. So I'm now going to highlight all of the elements in this scene by holding down shift and I'm going to clear and reset those camera positions. Okay, so I'm going to go into the properties here. I've got the animation time at one, pause time zero, transition time zero. One other cool thing that I can do is click this arrow to save these changes and go into the next element and the properties rather than clicking out of it and then going back in. So let's click this arrow. And now I can change this guy's animation time to 0 0.5, pause time zero, transition time zero. Let's go to the next animation or rather element. Pause time, transition time down to zero. Let's make the animation time one. Click the check mark and let's just play that out quickly. Video Scribe allows you to create professional videos in a fraction of the time it would take. Okay, so I actually would like this lady to draw out before the man. So I'm gonna grab that element and move it over on the timeline. And now I'm going to go into the properties of the clock and bring the animation time down to 0.5, pause time zero, transition time zero. I'm going to go to the next element, animation time down to, to 1.5, pause time zero, transition time zero, go into the next element, and we'll keep that as is. So check and let's play this back. Okay, I want shoot this text to be before the drawing. I'm going to slow down some of these animations. So this guy will be one. We'll go to the next one. I will make that animation time one. Bring this anim animation time to one. This scene would feel more complete if I brought in a second clock that showed the entire circle of the clock in red to indicate that using video scribe takes only a quarter amount of the time that it does to shoot real live actors so let's go back into illustrator and i'm going to now go grab the ellipse tool hold shift down and let go i'll grab my select tool here and again, I'll grab shift to bring the size of the circle down here. We'll move this circle over a little bit. I will save this as full clock. Go into Photoshop, file, open. Click on full clock, open that, open that, and file, save as. We'll change the format to a PNG file. Save, push OK. Okay, I'm back in Video Scribe. I'll go up to Add Images go down to the folder here and open up the full clock hit the check mark here i'll bring the size of this clock down let's just check the size here so we want to bring it down a little a bit more so it's close to the same size okay And I'm just going to move these elements around a little bit until I'm happy with them. 
Okay, so I'm going to highlight these three elements and set the camera position. I actually want this half of the canvas to be more consistent with this half, so let's move Video Scribe right there. I'll grab this quarter clock, bring it up above, grab this text, put it there, this clock, put it right there, we'll move this stuff around. And now I'm going to highlight all of these elements. And now we are going to get to the final scene. So I'm moving the canvas over to the left. I'm going to go into add images, type in white board, hit enter. And I'm going to show several different whiteboard images. Let's first click on this guy. Okay, we'll move him right here. Lock that camera position. Let's bring the draw time down to one. Go into the properties, make the pause time and transition time both zero. And let's show an image being drawn inside his whiteboard. Type in tree. Let's pick this beach image here. I'll bring the size down there and Put that in the middle of his image. I'll click the camera setting to set the camera. Draw time down, zero pause time, zero transition time. And I'm just gonna speed this up because you get the idea. You know how to bring in more images and change the transition time. Typed in now and what I want this to do I'm going to put now right in the middle of the computer screen there. I'm going to click the camera setting to save that. And now I'm going to zoom in to that text and click check mark for the camera position. Okay, so I like the way that this looks, except for the robot's head sticking up. So I'm gonna go to the timeline and double click on the robot, which brings me back to that camera setting and position. And I'm going to make him a little bit smaller and I'm going to pull down Shift or Command on a Mac and click on both him and the bird element in the timeline and I'm gonna move them over and down a little bit. I'm going to clear and reset those camera positions. Okay, and now I'm gonna go on the timeline and double click now. I'm going to bring the canvas down just a bit. Okay, I want to highlight both now in the timeline and the computer. I've done that by holding command down and clicking on both, I'm going to clear and reset those camera positions. So now when this draws out, it will not show the robot's head. Okay, so I'm going to add in another JPEG that I downloaded from Pixabay. First, I will move the canvas down. Now I'll go into the add image icon and click on that. I'll go to this folder here, click on that. And I'm going to click on this image push open and push check mark okay so i'm going to bring the size of that image up and move it down a little bit i'm going to lock that camera setting i'm going to move that image over there clear and reset 